Welcome, this is Daniel from Trusted Tutorials. Today we're going to have a look at why the VLOOKUP function evaluates to an out-of-bounds range in Google Sheets. So let's have a quick look up how the uh, VLOOKUP function looks like. This is a simple example of XYZ company. Uh, this company has four different branches in different cities and each of these branches has a unique branch code and um, each of these branches turns a profit. We have here uh, defined a search key. So this is what we're looking for in our VLOOKUP uh, example. And VLOOKUP um, stands for vertical lookup. So it looks uh, vertically in a uh, column uh, for this uh, search key. And what we want to get out of this example is the profit of branch number two. So let's have a look at the VLOOKUP function here. So when we have a look, so VLOOKUP function uh, first, uh, the first argument is the search key. As I mentioned here, we're looking for two, which is a uh, branch number two. Then you add uh, a range. So where the, uh, what is the whole range of the uh, data we're uh, looking at? After that, you define an index. This is where your uh, result is in. Uh, this is the column where you're going to find the result. And then you can also define uh, whether uh, your data is sorted or not sorted. So sorted means uh, it always looks at the first column. In this example, we have, a, um, we have sorted data because it goes from branch one to two to three to four. If uh, it would be different like four or one, three, two, uh, it would be unsorted. So in, in this argument, you can tell um, the Google Sheets whether uh, sorted is true or false. Uh, you will mostly see that uh, you have an example where sorted is uh, false because if it's false, like you're gonna get an exact result. If you um, if you enter true, it will um, really need uh, your data to be sorted. It needs to go to one, two, three, uh, four, and it's not looking for an exact uh, result in that case. So let's have a um, let's have a look and um, why uh, it the VLOOKUP might evaluate to an out of bounds range. There's um, at least um, two um, obvious reasons. So one reason could be that uh, the range is too short. So as we have here, um, we go to from B four um, we go from A four to D uh, seven. If I um, add a range that doesn't include uh, the the index it would uh, result in an error let's try this for a second so let's say we would only um, include a range from a4 to c7 let's en put enter uh, here and see what we get so here we have a um, reference error we look up evaluates to an out of bounds range so this is the error uh, we're looking for and um, you can see what happens here we um, just include A to C. But since we added the number four, this means the fourth column, A, B, C, D, because it's the fourth letter in the alphabet, the profit uh, column is not included in the range. And this res will result in uh, one of these uh, out of bound errors. So if you have a reference error, this could be uh, the cause. And how do you correct it? It's really simple. You just um, include the full range you go here back to t7 uh, which includes uh, column number four and you will get the uh, correct result and the error disappears so we already have one reason why uh, we look evaluates to an out of bounds range let's have a look at a, a second example uh, it could also be the cause that the index is greater than the selected range so in order um, to uh, produce this error or this issue, we would just um, have to change the uh, index here. Uh, we could go to uh, index five. So that would be the fifth column. And as you can see, the fifth column is not within the range. Uh, once we, pull, um, we enter here, uh, we push an enter here, we get another reference error and we look up evaluates to an out of bounds uh, range again. And how do you correct it? Of course, it's really simple. You uh, just um, make the index uh, smaller because the uh, result uh, column needs to be within um, the range. So we just 
add four here again and we push enter and we get the correct result. So these two are the uh, most common reasons why um, issues with VLOOKUP um, arise in Google Sheets. Yeah, so um, I really hope I helped you with this uh, simple example. VLOOKUP is extremely handy if you want to look up uh, information. If you look for a search key in, um, in your data and you want to get a uh, result from a specific column that you uh, define here by the uh, index. Thank you so much uh, for watching this video and please um, like our um, video, subscribe to the channel and um, check out the other videos we have produced so far. Thank you so much.